Hello everyone, thank you to a new feature at Gas So we're going to be doing a weekend forecast every Thursday night for the United States of America. And uh, we're going to see uh, on a day-by-day -day basis over next week how the weather is going to be developing uh, through the United States. This is something new for Gas Weather. It's also something new for myself. So hope you'll bear with me. I may be a little bit, um, uh, a little bit rusty with this uh, to start off with. Hopefully I'll get better. We'll get better uh, together as we go along but if you find this uh, video useful then please like share and also subscribe to our channel and thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that Right, so we've got record-breaking cold heading into northeastern parts of America in uh, in the next day or two. So uh, this is our temperature anomaly for the uh, week from the 7th through to the 15th of May. And you can see that uh, most parts of the states, particularly northern and eastern parts of the states, very, very cold. Some areas on the eastern side of America are going to be around 20 Fahrenheit uh, below average. It will be warmer out in the west across these western states. Uh, we're going to have more of a southerly flow, so higher temperatures there. But really, for most central, northern, and eastern parts of America, particularly northeast America, uh, a very cold uh, temperature anomaly coming up uh, this week for the time period, with some places around 12 to 20 Fahrenheit below average. Precipitation anomalies uh, for this week are varying from area to area. It looks relatively dry down in the southeastern corner and also in the very far north. We do have a wetter uh, band, and so that could contain snow uh, through these northeastern uh, states and out in towards some parts of the uh, Midwest. Over in western parts of America, again, it varies from state to, from state, to state. The Pacific Northwest is, uh, rather, uh, is rather more unsettled. Down across the uh, southern part of uh, California and down to New Mexico, there we see that uh, the... Um, the, uh, the precipitation anomaly is actually uh, drier than average. So that sort of sets things up for uh, for the weekend. Let's have a look at the detail, though. So this is Friday, uh, tomorrow, 8th of May. So uh, we're going to have a ridge of high pressure through these northern and central parts of America, backing up in towards Canada. That's basically what's thrusting down this cold, naughty wind. On the eastern side of this high pressure, we've got this trough of low pressure coming out of uh, northeastern parts of America, of Canada, and down into northern and eastern parts of the United States. There's a very cold air mass sitting in the northeast, and a trough of low pressure generally covering many eastern parts of America. This trough of low pressure will be pushing eastwards through the course of Friday, taking rain, but not also rain. There could be some snow as it hits this colder air up in the northeast, particularly late Friday and into uh, Friday night. Now, out in the west, we're drawing up more of a southerly flow at this west uh, side of America, so temperatures there on the western side of the ridge are a good deal uh, warmer. Let's have a look at the uh, upper air temperatures. So you can see we've got an exceptionally cold air mass sitting across northern parts of the states tomorrow, uh, down to minus 15 uh, uh, at uh, 850 HPA for these northern parts of, uh, of the states, uh, minus 10 Celsius ice firm uh, tucking into uh, northern parts of America. It is warmer down in the South America, so around the uh, Gulf and in towards Florida. There, of course, we've got much warmer temperatures and also coming back in towards this southwestern part of of America, we've got much hotter uh, upper air temperatures there. Going northwards into the Pacific Northwestern part of America, there temperatures are reasonably warm. And then into the Midwest, we are uh, under that ridge of high pressure on the eastern side of the ridge, and we're back into those cold upper air temperatures tomorrow. So this is a band of uh, rain, the massive rain that's going to be associated with that area of low pressure uh, through these uh, central parts of the states during uh, uh, during tomorrow morning. That low pressure will push eastwards quite quickly through the course of the afternoon, taking uh, its wet weather with it. All of this down here in the southeast is going to be rain, but as this uh, system pushes up in towards the northeast, remember it's engaging those cold temperatures, and so we could well see uh, the rain turning to snow uh, in the northeast. There could even be significant falls of snow uh, with uh, blizzards in places. 
uh, as it hits that far northeastern part of America tomorrow. Out further through central western areas, a lot of the dry weather coming up, although there will be some heavy showers uh, down here across the far southern part of the states, and then going northwards into this uh, sort of border with Canada there, we also have uh, some quite heavy showers through there. Many western parts of the states will be dry through the course of uh, tomorrow on that Pacific western side. Temperatures tomorrow are uh, going to be cold, so uh, these are how the temperatures are looking at uh, midnight uh, from Friday through to Saturday. So actually, let's just go uh, back, shall we? And uh, we can have a look at the temperature. Uh, let's have a look at the temperature at midday on Friday, uh, first of all. And then we'll have a look at the uh, midnight temperature. So uh, midday on uh, Friday, we see temperatures in many northern parts of America very subdued uh, tomorrow. So we're going to be talking about uh, many northern and eastern parts of the state. States, only seeing uh, maximum temperatures uh, tomorrow between around 30 to uh, 50 Fahrenheit. Uh, and again, out in these more southern and southwest areas, it's a good deal warmer there. Temperatures are going to be like uh, 80 Fahrenheit down in the southwestern part of America. But uh, most parts of the states are actually looking quite cold through the course of tomorrow, particularly these more northern parts of uh, America. And as we move through into uh, the nighttime period, well, then, of course, we've got uh, warm Warmish conditions on the eastern seaboard with that area of low pressure, but as it clears away, we will find that uh, the temperatures become even colder then uh, from the north, with again widespread frost expected across many of these northern and northeastern parts of uh, the states. Moving through into a uh, Saturday, where we're going to see that low pressure then clearing away into the Atlantic, pulling down these cold northern winds. So a cold weekend coming up for many parts of America. Uh, upper air temperatures show that cold air surging southwards uh, across the uh, eastern part of the United States on Saturday on the eastern side of that ridge of high pressure. Out in the west, again, a lot hotter on the western side over towards the Pacific coast. It will be hotter there, but uh, really quite cold through many northern and eastern parts of America on Saturday. We get rid of that band of rain and snow through the course of the Saturday morning. That clears out of the way into the Atlantic Ocean, but we're still left with uh, snow showers across northern and northeastern parts of America. Heavy showers down here close to the Gulf of Mexico and some uh, precipitation also coming out of Canada into those northern states just there. Otherwise, lots of dry weather coming up on uh, Saturday. It will be cold, though. Again, temperatures widely uh, across many northern northern and eastern parts of the states only sort of maxing out maxing out uh, like um 30 to 50 Fahrenheit again, so temperatures well below average. Some places in the far north and northeast probably seeing the temperatures staying uh, around 32 Fahrenheit, freezing uh, centigrade all day. Out in the west, it's warmer, but overall, it is a cold scene across many parts of America with temperatures significantly below average on Saturday. Cold conditions continue into Sunday. Another area of low pressure is developing up towards Newfoundland. We've still got this ridge coming out. Of central Canada and down into the central part of America and of course on the east side of that ridge it will remain cold as well. Upper air temperatures show that we're losing intensity of the cold. We're losing the minus 10, minus 15 Celsius ice firm. That's pulling back in towards Canada. But overall, many northern and eastern and northeast parts of the states looking uh, colder than average uh, on Sunday. Out in the west, that's where we've got the hottest temperatures on this uh, western Pacific, western side of America from, uh, from New Mexico going right way up the west coast through uh, California and up to uh, Seattle. This is how Pacific is looking on Sunday. So we've got outbreaks of rain. Some of it could be wintry uh, around the uh, Great Lakes. Uh, going further and east, so a lot of dry weather through there. Expect quite harsh frost, though on Sunday morning. Some heavy showers and thunderstorms very close towards Florida as well. So coming from the uh, Gulf of Mexico up towards Florida, threatening some heavy showers or thunderstorms there. Otherwise, many southern and western parts of the states looking at a lot of dry weather on Sunday with that ridge of high pressure. Temperatures on Sunday looking like that. So again, it is very subdued with the temperature. It's a cold weekend 
coming up. Temperatures widely only around uh, 35, 40, 45 Fahrenheit across many northern parts of the states. It's warmer, as you'd expect, down across the far south. So Florida, uh, through the Gulf, um, uh, along the Gulf Coast, and then over towards the southwestern part of America, much warmer through there. Temperatures widely will be going up into the 70s to 80s Fahrenheit, as you would expect. Another surge of quite cold air comes into eastern parts of America on Monday. Again, as long as we're maintaining this ridge through the central part of America, then on the eastern side of the ridge, it will be cold. So another surge of cold air comes uh, into northern and northeastern parts of America on Monday. Again, on the western side of the ridge, we'll be drawing up southerly winds, uh, so it will be warmer through there. Uh, we've got the minus 10 Celsius ice well with the upper air temperature coming back out of Canada in some of these northern northeastern states through the course of Monday. Generally, those temperatures much below average across many northern eastern parts of, um, of America on Monday. It, it will be warmer, will be hotter over on the western side and down in the far south and southeast. Precipitation uh, for Monday looks like that. So we could have more rain and snow up in the northeast. Again, there could be some uh, quite significant falls of snow in, in the extreme uh, northeast. Outbreaks of rain through the central parts of, uh, of uh, America through here. I mean, down in the south, again, we've got more thunderstorms close to Florida. Uh, so it could be some more heavy showers and thunderstorms threatening uh, southern and eastern parts of the state of Florida. Moving over towards the western side, a lot of dry weather there. Although some heavy rain coming out of the Pacific, perhaps uh, threatening some wet weather onto the west coast of California. Temperatures on Monday are looking uh, quite cold. Again, for many parts of America, well below average. Well, we've got these green colours. They're going to be substantially uh, below average temperatures. Only like between sort of uh, low 30s to upper 40s Fahrenheit. Well below average for, uh, for the time of the year, for, for the second week of May. And particularly so up in northern parts of the states where temperatures uh, there will probably stay uh, kind of under 30 Fahrenheit in these extreme northern parts of the country. Very, very cold in the extreme far north of, uh, of America and up into Canada. As you expect, and it continues to be a lot warmer across more southern states and also into the west as well. Moving through to Tuesday, signs of a little bit of a change on Tuesday. A ridge of high pressure then begins to develop across this more southeastern part of America that just starts to lift the jet stream uh, northwards a little bit and starts to push the cold air back northwards as well. The southerly wind will start to infiltrate into some parts of the Midwest probably on Tuesday, beginning to lift temperatures up there. You can see the upper air temperature show the cold air is beginning to recede away towards the uh, northwest. Many southern and western parts of America looking very warm to hot and gradually the temperature is beginning to lift up through the Midwest as well, although it is still below average. And a band of uh, quite heavy rain is setting up through these central states. So that's dividing uh, the dividing line between those colder, uh, uh, the colder weather to the north and to the east and the warmer weather to the south and to the southwest. And this band of rain could be quite significant. May well see some thunderstorms uh, breaking out with that uh, area of wet weather. The temperatures are still very subdued, despite the fact the upper air temperature is starting to stage a little bit of recovery. Overall, these temperatures are still much below average, widely just into the, uh, into the 30s to 40s Fahrenheit once again across many parts of the states on Tuesday. Free to Wednesday, yes, we have got a size of a change then. The ridge is going over towards the, uh, towards the east coast of America, and that's allowing this southerly wind to uh, start to uh, draw up across many parts of, uh, of the states, uh, drawing winds up from the south and in from the Gulf of Mexico. Notice again, the upper air temperatures are lifting up. Those cold uh, upper air temperatures are being pushed back towards uh, Canada, northeast and parts of Canada, and it is turning significantly hotter across many of those southern parts of uh, America. Again, a band of rain is associated with this change to the south and west of this heavy rain just here. Uh, we're going to have uh, the warmest temperatures to the north and the east. That's where the coldest temperatures uh, will continue to be. And then as we move into uh, Thursday, again, winds are drawing up from the south across uh, many parts of America. So uh, temperatures should begin to stage a recovery through the middle part of the week. Look at the upper air temperatures. They're lifting up. We're drawing up these much warmer winds from uh, from uh, the Gulf of Mexico, uh, drawing in out of the Gulf. There is heavy rain associated with that. Again, an area of low pressure will be pushing eastwards probably into eastern parts of America. That should be rain uh, as the uh, temperature is lifting up 
quite significantly. Out in the west, a few heavy showers through here, but many southern and western parts of America looking pretty dry. Some showers close to Florida. There's the temperatures. We are seeing the temperatures starting to recover. Warmer uh, temperatures are moving up from the Gulf of Mexico. Widely, we'll be seeing temperatures going uh, back close to what you would expect, really, through the middle part of May, getting uh, up to the 70s Fahrenheit through many of these central and southern parts of America. Still a bit cold up in the north, still in most green colours up in the north, but overall moderation of the cold coming in the second half of next week, becoming uh, much less cold, becoming warmer from the south. And just to uh, run you a, a few days ahead, so on Friday, again, we're still drawing up these much warmer uh, southerly winds, and as go through into the following weekend, which is Saturday, 16th, and Sunday, the 17th of May, overall it's looking uh, much warmer across many parts of America. Look at that, there's the upper air temperatures for Saturday the 17th of May, we have lost the freezing cold conditions and uh, we're even pushing those warm upper air temperatures into southern parts of Canada over here. So you've got about another sort of five days, uh, five to seven days to go of this cold weather. But in the second half of next week, things should start to warm up. And uh, then we should see things getting a lot warmer as we move into the middle part of May and on into the second half of the month. But for the time being, very cold temperatures in the north and the east of America. Records could well be broken and there will be some heavy snow and damaging overnight frost in places as well. If you found this uh, weekend forecast in the United States uh, informative and useful, then please give us a thumbs up on the video. Let us know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have another week of head forecast for America. Uh, same time, same place uh, next Thursday. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.